Hello all, welcome to netstrikers.com. In this tutorial, we will learn about the life cycle of thread in Java. So just like a normal human life, a thread also consists of a life cycle. A thread is when created is in the new stage. In this stage, a thread is being created. Whereas the runnable stage is the active stage of the thread. It is invoked by using the start method and this can perform any kind of task which you assign to it. Now the not runnable stage is also known as the wait stage. In this state the thread is do not perform any task in it. However, it wait for the other thread to complete its execution. Whereas the last stage is called as the dead stage. Or you can say that in this stage the thread destroys or it is invoked by the, using the stop method. So le let us understand how we can create a thread. Now there are two ways by which we can create our thread. The first method is by implementing a runnable interface or you can just extend the thread class. Now since we are using this method called implement a runnable interface, so we are going to create a program in it. So since I already created a program, I am just going to explain what this program do. So I have created a class called print task and implemented it with a runnable interface. Now here I have created a string type name variable and the time variable now here as you can see the random class the random class might be new for you but this class generates a random kind of numbers and the number could be generated upon the arguments that you supply so i have created a constructor here called print task as you know the constructor name is similar with the class name and within the constructor parameter i have supplied the string class of name now this name will get initialized with the value of name and the time will get initialized with the r dot next int followed by the parameter of 200 value in it. Now this 200 is the value which you can say that 0 to 9199 and it will get randomly initialized with any value to the time variable. Now there is always a thing that you need to remember for the thread. You need to always first overwrite the run method with, for using the thread. So I have override the run method here and just create a try and catch block here and it will throw an interrupted exception. However, I've just uh, captured it with an exception which is a parent of all exception. So within the try block, it will going to print system.out.println percentage s is sleeping. Now percentage s is access specifier. It specify that uh, what kind of string you want to access. Since I supplied the percentage s is represented by the name, similarly for the percentage d, which is was represented by the time, since it is in the int format and this is in the string format. So this will going to sleep our thread, followed by the time specified in it. Since the time is initialized with a random value between 0 to 199, so our thread will sleep for the certain amount of time according to the random number initialized with the time. Now this will going to print the our thread is done as soon as it's completed execution. So let's back to the other class that we have created. So I have also created a class called thread creator. As you can see, the main method is reside. So our execution will start from here. So I have created a multiple three threads here. To create a thread, you need to first create a normal thread uh, like uh, just you created any for other class. You need to create an object reference for T1 and uh, you, within the constructor you need to remember one thing you need to pass the constructor for the another class for which you want to create a thread since i want to create a thread for the my print class method and within this parameter i need to supply the name of my thread for for which it is to be called since i want my first thread to be called as the first thread for better understanding similarly for the second thread and the third thread as well now to, as we have learned up in our life cycle that thread is invoked by using start method so to start the our thread we need to first type t1 dot start this will start our thread one and it will go to the run method now the run method sorry it will go first to the constructor and initialize the variable name with the first thread now the, this name will get initialized with the name and it will assign a random time to it now similarly happen for the t1, t2 and t3 as well. So let's run our program and see what we get as an output. So to compile our code we need to type java c 
followed by our program name which is thread creator dot java now as you can see our compilation is successful now let's run our code so to run our code we need to type java followed by thread creator followed by nothing so as you can see first thread is sleeping for 109 second thread is sleeping for 177 third thread is sleeping for 21 now these times are in the milliseconds since the third thread is taking the least time among all so third thread is first to complete its execution similarly the first thread takes 109 second whereas the second thread takes 177 second so the first thread completes its task with before the second so here is the output that third is completed first task first completed second and second completed by third so that's how a thread work i know it's very confusing to you but we will learn something more about the thread as we later create more and more video tutorial but if you have any difficulties or doubt please do let me ask in the youtube comment section i am ready to help you out and until then enjoy your life thanks for watching